what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ayomidi and on this channel i post sewing tutorials and pattern drafting tutorials in this tutorial i'm going to be sharing the sewing process on how i made this dress in my previous tutorial i shared how i drafted the pattern i also shared the cutting process how i cut the fabric so if you haven't seen that video i would advise you to just see it it is the video just before this one so that we can be on the same page now if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly click on the subscribe button and let's jump right into this tutorial to get started guys these are all of the fabric pieces that i've gone ahead to cut out this is the cup and i have the lining and i also have the main fabric for the cup i split it into two along the center front so you are going to be having two separate cups also for the back i've got my main fabric and i also have my lining for the back too and this is the remaining part of the front the main fabric and also the lining I cut out lining so that I can achieve a clean finishing. To proceed with the sewing, the first thing I will do is to sew in my dart along the back. For the front dart, I close that on my pattern, but if you don't want that, you can also sew in your dart on your front too. Once I am through with that, I'm going to be working on the cup. The first thing I will do is to close up the cup along the center front. So placing right sides of the lining against the right sides of the fabric. I'm going to be sewing this down by quarter of an inch only along the center front for now. So this is just to clean up that center front and conceal all of the raw edges. I am through with that and here is what it looks like. The next thing I will do is to sew in a basting stitch along the base of the cup and also along the neckline. Remember we did a slash and spread so we are going to be gathering that extra volume of fabric that we added. After all is done, I'm just going over to pull the thread gently in order to create gathers. Do note that if your thread should snap, you would have to go through this process again so you have to be very very careful i am through with that process and here is what my cup looks like the next thing i'll do is to measure the neckline to be sure it is up to my desired neckline and i'm working with my across chest measurement half of that is six inches so i should have six inches plus half an inch to join it to the other part of the front now in order to finish the neckline nicely i have this long strip of fabric here it is about 22 inches long and two inches wide and i am going to be piping the edge of the neckline with this fabric just to have a neat finishing i am done with the neckline and here is what it looks like the remaining fabric would serve as a rope that would be tied in the front so the rope would be used to join the both cups together in the front so once this process is done it is now time to fix the cup on the remaining part of the bodice now to do that i'll grab the cup that matches with this side of the bodice i'm working on and then i will pin them together the first thing i'll do is to pin the center front part of the cup to the center front region of the fabric and also pin the armhole to the end of that cup leaving half an inch on the armhole because i'm going to be fixing my sleeve after that is done i would readjust the other length of the cup all around the cup area on the bodice So once I'm through with that, I'll also try to pin the second one. In pinning the second cup, I'll try to overlap the second cup on the first one slightly. And this will just help cover up your undergarments when you wear this dress so that your undergarments does not show. So once I'm through with that, I'll just go over and sew all of this down. And here is what it looks like. It's now time to finish the raw edges of the underbust area with the lining. 
to do that i am grabbing my lining and i will pin it appropriately matching up the center front of the lining to the center front of the fabric and i will proceed and sew this down I think it's good that I cut out a lining for this because it really made this dress, the upper part of this dress, come out really neat. I'm done sewing with the lining and here is what it looks like. So you can see that all of the seam lines are concealed and the upper part of this dress is looking really neat. The next thing would be to join both the lining of the back together and to do that I'll place right sides of the lining against the right sides of the main fabric for the back and stitch it down only along the neckline leaving half an inch along the armhole area for the armhole seam allowance and here is what it looks like after I was done. This is the half an inch I was talking about for the armhole. Now to join both the front and the back together all I have to do is to place right sides of the fabric of both the front and the back against each other and sew this down with my seam allowance which I added. I am done stitching both the front and the back together. I also left about 2 inches just before the armhole to make fixing the sleeve easier. So now it's now time to work on the skirt part of this dress. For the skirt parts, I'm going to be using an A-line skirt and I used my basic skirt pattern to cut out my A-line skirt. So what I did was to place my fabric on fold into two. This right here is the back that I am illustrating and I added one inch zip allowance along the center back. I also spread it by my desired measurement along the sides and also extended the length of the skirt to my desired measurement. So it's pretty simple and pretty easy to do. Also for the fronts, I did something likewise. Although for the front, you will not be adding zipper allowance to the front because there is no zip in the front. But for my own front pattern, I am adding a slit to the front and you need allowance for that. So I just added an extra 0.75 inch allowance to the front. So just the same way I cut out the back, I cut out the front. The only difference is that I split it into two along the sides to create my slit. And then I'm going to be sewing it down by the seam allowance that I added. Now in order to proceed sewing, all I have to do is to just join the both front pieces together and stop at the desired length of my slit and here is what the skirt pattern looks like so the next thing i will do now is to now join both the back and the front together so all i have to do is to match up the sides of the back that matches up with the front and then i'll stitch it down along the side seam i am done stitching the skirts guys so the next thing would be for me to join both the skirts and the bodice together so all i have to do is just to match up my top part that is the bodice to the skirt part and stitch it down along the waistline also guys i'm going to be fixing the zipper to this dress and this is what it looks like so far i have stitched both the bodice and the skirt part together and i'm also gonna have to fix my invincible zip to this dress now it is time to work on the sleeve for the sleeve i am going to be illustrating how i cut this out the length of this sleeve is 14 inches then at the top part i left about one and a half inch for elastic casing so in total the length is 15 and a half inches while the width of the sleeve is 12 inches on fold and it is so because i am going to be adding an elastic so i need that extra um, volume of fabric for the elastic now for me to draw the armhole all i had to do was just to trace out the armhole from my dress onto the sleeve so what i did was just to match up the armhole area excluding the 1.5 inch elastic casing allowance and then i traced it out this would ensure that my armhole would align properly and then i just went ahead to cut out the sleeve so guys in order to start working on the sleeve i just have to create my elastic casing 
at the top part of the sleeve and also at the end of the sleeve i would also fix my elastic all around it to my actual measurements for the top of the sleeve and also for the end of the sleeve i'm done fixing the elastic to the sleeve on joining the sleeve together i left about three inches that would enable me fix this sleeve to my dress so in order to do this all i have to do is just to match up the armhole of the sleeve to the armhole of the dress and then i am going to be sewing this down guys we have come to the end of this tutorial and here is the outcome of this dress if you found this tutorial really helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up click on the like button also if you haven't subscribed kindly click on the subscribe button below and until my next tutorial guys make sure you have a wonderful day stay blessed and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yes very important <music>